So just yesterday, I was printing with Pet G on my Adventure 4. And the first Benchy that I printed yesterday came out like this. Pretty much perfect, minus some of the stringing there. And the next few prints came out like this. And I was just scratching my head there thinking, what did I change to make this print come out so crappy? I only changed the movement speed as well as some of the retraction speeds. And I also turned down my fan from 35% down to 5%. So I switched all my settings back to the original Benchy and it still came out like crap. And I was like, what's going on? And you probably clicked on this video because you have similar issues with Pet G. So let me tell you how I solved this. Before we get started though, I have a very pro tip for you guys, how to troubleshoot your filament and stay to the very end for that tip. The first thing that I tried was printing slower and that didn't actually work. It seemed like the print was actually under extruding and these prints were crumbling apart when I took them off the bed. I also tried to increase the temperature thinking that the filament wasn't going through the nozzle as well. So by increasing the temperature, it would help the filament flow. I increased from 235 all the way to 260 and that didn't seem to change it. And just for your reference, I'm using the 0.4 millimeter diameter nozzle that goes up to 265 degrees. I also tried turning off my printer thinking that the motor electronics were too hot or the stepped motor was too hot because the extruder was making a bunch of noises like this. So this morning I got up, tried another Benchy print and the exact same thing happened where it looked under extruded and the whole print was crumbly. At this point in time, I decided to check if my extruder would extrude smoothly. So what I did was I went to the manual mode, set the temperature at about 240 and just extruded 100 millimeters of filament. And sure enough, the clicking was present there. So that's the first step that you guys should do if you're seeing extruder clicking. Try going to the manual mode and extruding about 100 millimeters of filament and seeing if there's any clicking there. And what this is telling you is basically that your extruder is clogged. And I didn't think that my extruder was going to be clogged because I haven't been feeding any sort of weird filament through it. Like any sort of marble filament, glow in the dark filament, or stuff with additives to it. My current theory is that the 265 degree nozzles from Flash Forge, they say that you're not supposed to use PLA, and I printed with PLA in them. Perhaps if you printed PLA in this nozzle and you increase the temperature past 240 degrees, PLA could possibly turn into carbon and clog your nozzle inside. So now my mission was to unclog my nozzle. I used the unclogging tool at first and pushed the filament through. It didn't seem too difficult to do so. Next, I tried some cold pull techniques and those were very difficult to do with the Adventure 4. I tried using PLA to cold pull stuff out. I mean, maybe that's not the best idea, but PLA is a bit more rigid than Pet G. I also used Pet G to do a cold pull, but it seemed like it stretched a little bit too much. So the way that I cold pulled on the Adventure 4 was that I heated the nozzle up to about 220 degrees, removed the Bowden tube, and stuck a new piece of filament in there, whether it's PLA or PET-G, pushed it through about 20 millimeters until I started seeing filament extrude, then I shut off the extruder and let it cool down to anywhere from 90 to 120 degrees before taking a pair of pliers and yanking the filament out of the extruder. In the end, after a lot of mediocre cold pulls, I started to see some clumps at the end of the nozzle, it wasn't a perfect cold pull where you see the shape of the nozzle, but it was still getting some black stuff out. I'm not really sure at this moment why cold pulling doesn't work very perfectly, but in the meantime, I did get that crap out of my nozzle. I also used a 0.4 millimeter unclogging tool, which I got with my Rep Wrapper Pet G filament, which was very useful. So I pushed that tool up my nozzle and noticed that it was completely clogged. So what I did was I took my pliers, held onto that piece of wire and shoved it up because my fingers didn't have enough grip. And that sure enough pushed back the piece that was clogging the nozzle from the inside. After that, I again attempted more cold pulls and finally I got my extruder to manual extrude 100 millimeters of pet G without any clicking. Now this is the result of my Benchy after I unclogged my nozzle. So if you guys are having this problem, leave a like down below if this solution helped you. If you got any other tips or tricks for other people who are watching this video, as well, leave them in the comments down below. So I did mention at the beginning of this video, I do have a tip or trick for you guys when you're trying to troubleshoot your filament. Well, here it is. I printed out only sections of the Benchy here. You can see that I cut this model where I'm printing only the four posts, and this is the most difficult section for Pet G because it doesn't really have enough time to cool. 
and I was printing at fairly quick speeds, so I wanted to drop my speed down to see if that would improve my quality. Other examples of sectional prints that I did was this bunchy here, where I didn't want to print the base of it. All I wanted to do was see if stringing was happening on the deck. I've got a couple other videos that I'm going to throw up on the screen related to pet sheet. And guys, that's a wrap.